joyride. It only lasts seven seconds, but it's the most exciting thing I've ever done. My bike produces 290 horsepower, which is uh, a 1500cc Suzuki, and that's three horsepower per cubic inch. I, I get on the bike about 15 minutes before we make a run, and that's when my run starts. I'm sitting on the bike, I got my helmet on, I start concentrating and focusing on what I'm about to do. And then we pull the bike into the burnout box, and from the time it started to the time I pull the kill switch is about three minutes. We experience almost three Gs on our motorcycles, so three Gs is a lot to feel on a bike. You have to hold on with your legs and, and your feet and your bottom, and it's, it's really difficult to hold on when you first pop the clutch and the bike takes off. And what happens to the motorcycle is the weight is so low to the ground and when the g-force when you take off it lifts the whole front end of the bike up the front tire wants to come off the ground and launch like a rocket so we have what we call wheelie bars on the back of the bike which slam to the ground and keep the the front end from coming up too high the track is in incremental times zero to 60 feet we reach 100 miles per hour and there's a 330 feet mark um, we're well over 100 miles an hour when we get to the eighth mile mark, which is halfway through the track, we're reaching speeds of 150 miles per hour, which is four and a half seconds for us. And then the eighth mile mark, which is where our top speed is 187, and that's in 7.3 seconds.